Hey guys, today I'm teaching you my top 5 wind bombs and how to do them. This first one's just your standard wind bomb. It's great for both height and vertical distance, it's relatively easy, and it doesn't use a lot of stamina. To do this, you want to shield walk off a cliff, jump, spawn a circle bomb, then go into bullet time. Buffer the quick menu until Link's legs reach about this position. Then, just place a square bomb, reopen the quick menu, and blow up the circle one. Go fly. This next one's relatively easy, it's great for beginners, but it's kind of impractical because you need a wall and a bunch of black ground. It's also not the best for stamina or vertical distance, but it's great for horizontal speed. To do this, find a wall that's half as high as Link, do two backflips, spawn a square bomb, then hop back towards the wall. Then do a backflip, and about three quarters through, go into bullet time. You want to wait until Link gets a little closer to the square bomb, so you can check my stamina wheel for a reference, then spawn a circle bomb, and detonate the square one, go flying. This next one's a vertical wind bomb. It's pretty tricky, so I don't recommend beginners trying it. What's great about this one is it doesn't use a lot of stamina, and because you're already so high in the air, you can just do another wind bomb. That way, you can extend your reach and go as far as you want. To do this, I like to use a shrine pedestal. Front hop onto the pedestal and spawn a square bomb at the same time. Once you're on, do a backflip, then enter bullet time and spawn a circle bomb. Wait a second, then detonate the square bomb to go flying. Like I said, it's pretty tricky, so I don't recommend it for beginners. Now we'll move on to doing wind bombs in midair. This one's also pretty easy, and it doesn't use a lot of stamina, so you can actually chain it. It's also great for vertical and horizontal distance. In this clip, you can see I was trying to reach those ruins, so I simply did it twice. I also had plenty of stamina remaining after. To do this, in midair, you'll want to put the stick into neutral for about a half a second. Spawn a circle bomb, wait for it to fall a bit, go into bullet time, then immediately spawn a square one. Then immediately blow up the circle one, and you'll go flying. This final one's not really the best for vertical height or stamina, but it's great for a ton of horizontal distance and speed. You can see here, it gives us so little horizontal velocity, that Link actually starts falling a bit. It also uses a ton of stamina. To do this, you'll want to spawn a circle bomb in midair, immediately go into bullet time, and immediately spawn a square bomb. Then, you just have to wait until the bombs align, just like this. You should see it should make a straight line from the bombs to Link's lower back. Then detonate the circle bomb, and away you go. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these tutorials, leave a like and subscribe. These are pretty hard, so I do recommend practicing a lot. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.